Armored Vehicles Negum Limited held talks with South Korea's Chung One Promotion Korean Industry Agency to promote its products in South Korea. US has cleared the sale of 4X Norwegian P3 Orion anti-submarine aircraft to Argentina, thus strengthening its pitch for 38 F-16 fighter jets to Argentinian Air Force. South Korea has unveiled its KF-21 fifth-generation aircraft to the public for the first time at EDX 2023, and it also conducted a five-minute public aerial demonstration showcasing high maneuverability. Hindustan Aeronautics is training its team in participation with US firm Honeywell and General Atomics, for the maintenance repair and overhaul of TPE-331 engine that powers the MQ-9B armed drones. HAL chief has said, that HAL will secure 80% transfer of technology level for F-414 engine, that surpasses 47% Russian transfer of technology level secured for the AL-31F engines used in Su-30. The Indian Army's Vajra Corps has conducted a two-day CBR and exercise to enhance preparedness and coordination. Indian Navy's combat ship Aravat and Dhruv advanced light helicopter have reached Sri Lanka, to train Sri Lankan Navy pilots on ship-borne helicopter operations. External Affairs Ministry spokesperson has said, that India has not been invited by China to this year's Belt and Road Forum. Japan has conducted successful test of its medium-caliber maritime electromagnetic railgun, making it the first country to achieve this feat. Indian Air Force has started a project to deploy many low-Earth orbit satellites with synthetic aperture radar, that will provide extremely accurate high-resolution imagery of enemy movements. Seekon Engineering has delivered the second missile come ammunition barge to the Indian Navy. In order to explore its options for the procurement of advanced fighter jets, the 5th Fighter Wing of the Philippine Air Force held its annual exhibition at Basel Air Base, where Saab Lockheed Martin and Korea Aerospace Industries promoted their respective fighter jets, and interestingly, India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited also showcased its Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet. India has already made inroads into the Philippines' defense market after securing orders for BrahMos missiles, and India has offered Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets equipped with the BrahMos NG air-launched cruise missile, and this is significant, as the Philippines' Air Force is seeking fighter jets with enhanced capabilities, especially in terms of air-to-sea combat. The Indian Air Force has decided to equip its Su-30 fighter jets with a new indigenous next-generation radar named Virupaksa, that will be an upgraded variant of UTAM radar system. It will have close to 2,000 transmit-receive modules, and will have a range of over 400 kilometers. In the first phase, 84 Su-30 aircraft will get the indigenous infrared search and track system and the Virupaksa next generation radar as part of the Super Shukhoi program, that will give it a capability to detect stealth aircraft at long ranges. HAL chief has confirmed, that the Tejas Mark II aircraft will be ready to enter series production in the next five years. The company is confident to roll out the first pre-production Tejas Mark II aircraft by end of 2024, and its first flight is planned in 2025. The retirement of MiG-29 UPG and Jaguar Strike aircraft is expected to start from 2030 onwards, followed by retirement of 50 Mirage 2000 aircraft from 2035 and it is predicted that the orders for Tejas Mark II will be over 200 fighter jets by 2040. The Ministry of Defense has already granted approval to the procurement of 590 future-ready combat vehicles powered by 1,500 horsepower engines in the Phase 1 of the program. As per latest media reports, the Indian Army is re-evaluating the technical requirements for its upcoming future-ready combat vehicle, and this re-evaluation is a response to the evolving nature of warfare. Major tanks have suffered losses due to low-cost loitering ammunition and airdrop munitions from hexacopters, and these threats have underscored the need for a comprehensive reassessment of the technical specifications for the FRCV. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.